Good evening, this is James Brotherton at the National Weather Service in San Diego. Here's a quick briefing on the tropical system that will affect Southern California through the middle of the week. First of all, temperatures will be quite hot tomorrow. This is due to the dry air that is north of Tropical Storm Blanca. Uh, this dry air will cause temperatures to heat up quite a bit on Monday, especially for inland areas. Temperatures in the Inland Empire and the deserts will reach the 100 degree mark and possibly up to 105 or so. These temperatures will be between 10 and 15 degrees above normal. This is the departure from normal map here. And now for the latest on Tropical Storm Blanca. This is the 8 p.m. Sunday evening update from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, all of this information can be found at the National Hurricane Center's website. The center of Tropical Storm Blanca was located just to the southwest of Cabo San Lucas. Over the next couple of days, the remnants of Tropical Storm Blanca will move roughly along the Baja California Peninsula, weakening to a tropical depression by Tuesday morning. All of the different forecast scenarios now indicate that the intensity of Tropical Storm Blanca will weaken to below Tropical Storm threshold. That threshold is indicated with this red line indicating 34 knot winds and lower. As you can see, all of these different scenarios predict that the storm will lower to below 34 knots intensity. And if you've been following our forecasts for the last couple of days, you've probably noticed we've been mentioning the lack of confidence in the forecast for Blanca. And that is because all of the different models were quite, uh, quite a spread in the different scenarios. However, as of Today, the forecasts have come into better agreement. As you can see on this map, all of the different tracks are clustered quite closely together, bringing the remnants of Blanca into northern Mexico and into extreme southeast California and southwest Arizona through Tuesday. Therefore, we do expect some moisture to reach the San Diego region the best chance of rain will be Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. This is our precipitation chance map for that period showing the best chances over the mountains where we expect a pretty, pretty good probability of rain. However, as you can see, even along the coast, we expect at least a chance of rainfall. Various weather impacts that we expect, as we mentioned already, the hot temperatures on Monday cooling off Tuesday and Wednesday, especially for inland regions. Scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms possible, especially Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. This rain could cause some slick roadways as well as minor flooding. Any thunderstorms can always bring the threat of lightning, heavy, erratic downpours, and strong winds. Looking beyond Wednesday, the weather should quiet down a bit and we do expect some warming as well. There will be a slight chance for uh, rain again for the mountains on Friday. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Of course, you found this video on YouTube. We welcome your input, and, and if you have any questions, you can send your questions to those sites as well. You can also follow all of our forecasts at weather.gov slash San Diego.